we're going to be uh, swapping out three inch screw impeller. Um, this method also works for our four inch screw pumps as well. Now what you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, 10 mil open end spanner and a 13 mil open end spanner. So to start off we need to remove the intake mesh. And if you're doing this out in a field, it'd be a really good idea to have some sort of container that you can place your bits in. And hope to God you don't bump it off the back of the ute. So, there we go. Next, we take off the outlet bolts. Now, on occasion, these can be really stiff, such as these ones are. So what I like to do is I take a screwdriver, put it through the intake here. You see I've got it braced on this metal strut and that metal strut. Hold it in position and there we go. So we get that one nice and loose. And we move on to the next one. Now, when you're taking these bolts off, the bolts up here on the outlet and down here on the inlet are very similar. So try to make sure you keep those separate because the bolts inside the inlet have a spring washer. So at the very least, just try to make sure that the spring washers go back with the inlet bolts. Now that we've got the bolts off, what we want to do is we're going to take the outlet off the top of the impeller housing. So you just take the power cable, get it up nice and straight, and then just lift it up and over and bring it down the power cable a bit. It doesn't need to go too far, just somewhere where it's not going to be hanging, causing you trouble. Now you'll see here that the stator, which is this rubber sleeve, is sandwiched between the outlet and the impeller housing. Take that off, place it out of the way, and then similar to how you took the outlet off, you want to take the power cable, get it up nice and straight, and then just lift the housing away from the body of the pump. Now, for this bit here, you will notice that just underneath the base of the rotor, there's this rubber lip. You wanna pull that down a little and just see where your two flat edges are. If you're having trouble with it and you happen to have a flathead screwdriver with you, you can always use that to just pull it down out of the way. So you see, here we've got a flat edge. That means on the other opposing side, we've got another flat edge. So we pull it down somewhere roughly in the middle, take our 13 mil spanner, and get it in just beneath that rotor. Now this is a left hand thread, meaning you want to turn it to the right hand side or clockwise to loosen it off. 
Once you get it nice and loose, you can put the spanner down and twist it off. Now that we've got those removed, we take our new ones, separate the rotor from the stator. Now, before you put it on, you wanna make sure that it turns nice and smoothly. It should feel firm, but it shouldn't be so tight that it's hard to turn. It also shouldn't be so loose that when you turn it upside down, it can just fall off. Now, we take this, we turn it counterclockwise, and we do it up. Now, you don't need your spanner to do this back up, it just needs to be finger tight. So you can grab just below there, and just make it finger tight. If there is any more slack or looseness, the pump itself will fix that up as it runs. We take our impeller housing, place it back into position, take our stator, place it back on top of the impeller housing, and then we'll take our outlet and get that back in position also. Now that we've got all those in position, we take our impeller housing bolts, or the lower bolts, whoops, with the spring washer. Trying to make sure that we don't lose anything. only needs to be firm you don't need to make it incredibly tight the tighter you make it the harder it is going to be to do it next time so just just that tiny bit more than hand tight is all you really need and we do the same thing for the outlet bolts, or top bolts. Now, this one can be a bit trickier to get tightened up. So what you wanna do is get each bolt started, and then once you have each one started, just finger tighten them down so they're at the base plate of the outlet. And if you've ever been shown how to tighten up a tire after changing it, when you replace it on your car, we do the similar thing. We do a little bit of tightness on one side, then we go to the next. And we just incrementally tighten it up so that you get even pressure all around that sandwiched part of the stator. There we go, so we've got it nice and firm, but not so firm that we can't easily undo it again. Okay, now that we've got that on, we take our mesh, place it back into position, try to note which side overlaps the other, so that you can make sure to get it lined up when you go to place it back in position. Get your first screw started. Take your second one. Make sure you've got your hole lined up. And there you go. And you've got both in there. Tighten it up. Again, just doing it a little bit more than hand tight, so it's not virtually impossible to get undone the next time you go to do this. And there you go. That's how you change the impeller on a three inch screw gun. Come on,